Hello guys and welcome back to Coding Orbit. If you haven't subscribed yet, make sure to subscribe and turn on the notification bell so you don't miss our content. Today I'm going to show you how to select images from gallery and how to capture image from the camera. If I click on select image, it will show me list of images. I can select whatever image I want and it will show it to us in this container. If I click capture image, same, it will open the camera and I can capture the image, click on this button and it will show it to us here. Make, now make sure to stay for the end of this video because at the end I'm going to show you how to control the quality of these images. So let's dive in. Okay, to get this started, I have created a container inside it. There is a child text image should appear here and then two buttons, two elevated buttons, capture image, select image. They don't actually do anything now. Here, our flutter code. We have scaffold inside it, an app bar inside the text, and then padding inside the padding. There's a column, then inside it, a container. This container, we are giving it a width and height, and box decoration with some color and some border radius and some border. Then a row, and inside the row, two expanded widget inside them, elevated button, and they don't actually do anything now. Now, to get this started, the first thing we have to do is we have to add a library to our project. So let's go to our browser and search for image picker. I will keep a link in the description for this library. Click on the installing and copy this thing. So go to Android Studio, then open popspec.yaml and under this, paste this and click pop.get. So we have to rerun our application. So let's kill it for now. And once this done, we will close popspec.yml and go back to the main. And now, what we need to do, we will define a file to hold the path for our capture image or our selected image. But when you are creating the file, make sure to select file IO, not file HTML. And let's call it image file and make this nullable so it doesn't complain later. Okay. Now down below, we want to create a method and this method takes the source of the image if we want it a gallery image or if we want it a camera image. So we will create a void get image method and we will make it name parameter. We would say required and this library has an enum and this enum tell us if it's a gallery or camera image. So we will use this enum. It's called image source and we'll call this source and we'll make this async and inside here we want to create a final file variable equal to await. We want to await this process. We will say image picker image picker dot pick image and we want the source and we've already provided the source. So that's it. We will have semicolon here. And we want to check if this file dot path is not null because if it's not null, we want to set the state. If this file dot path different from null, what we want to do, we want to set the state for our variable image file. So we can say image file is equal to file file and we can first unwrap it because we already know that this is not null and that's it that's it for this function we just want to call it from our buttons so we will call it from here we will make this arrow function we will say get image and we want to provide the source the source is image source now this select image so this is gallery we will select image source dot gallery and we want to provide it here as well. So we will make this our function as well. And we will say get image. Now the source image source this time is camera. So we will type image source dot camera. And that's it. Now one last thing before we finish. We just want to create another container for our image. So I will copy this and paste it above it. However, I will remove the child property. And I will add an image property here. And it's a decoration image actually. 
so inside the decoration image we can have the image this image is file image and file image and inside the file image we want our image file and we can first unwrap it because we will definitely check if if a file image sorry if image file different from null we will actually show this container and we will take it to the right side a little bit else we will show this container and we will take it to the right a little bit now let's run our app to see how it looks like now okay our app is running let's try capture an image let's click on capture image and capture an image select this and it works let's try select an image and select an image and it works as well okay so this is because we didn't give fit the property for the image for so we can scroll up a little bit for the image and give it a fit the property and we can say box fit dot cover for example save it and hopefully it will appear okay but as you can see the border doesn't appear now so we can for example change the color to pure black and it appears better okay now as you can see let me select this car for example it looks a pure and the pure images usually are bigger in size especially if the user capture an image so we can manipulate the quality of this image we can go down to this function now here with the source we have many properties to send for example we can send max width we can say max width to 640 we can have max height and for example uh, 480 and finally we have image quality so this is an integer it takes from 0 to 100 and 100 means fully quality 0 means no quality at all so for example let's for demonstration let's send past 10 and see how it appears and save it now and select another image and select it and <laughs> look how it looks now it doesn't look really good however you can for example uh, choose 70 and save it select this image and select it it doesn't look bad but it definitely reduce the image size so if you want to upload uh, files from users like pictures especially uh, capturing picture usually the camera takes for example two to three or, f or even sometimes four megas so you can do that to reduce the quality of the picture however it does look nice and you can try many picture to see if this is working you can select this like image <laughs> speaking of like don't forget to like the video if you really like it and actually that was all if you haven't subscribed yet make sure to subscribe and comment down below if you want to and see you guys in the next video